back. Happy Friday. Let's kick this off live. This is fantastic, you guys. Now, I'm going to give it a couple minutes for this to kick off because I know going live, it takes a minute for everybody else to get jumping in on there just because of the factor of everything happening. So I'm going to move the camera just a smidge here. Hopefully everybody can see what's going on. What's up, a therapeutic edge? Waiting for my system to go live here. Live at five. Well, there we go. We got a little commercial going on. That's always fun. So hopefully it's kicking off for you guys. Man, we had an awesome group of people in here. I'm going to move this up just a smidge. Now, the craziest part was... I thought I had plenty of time. I was like, oh, I'm good. Got all this time, everything happening. And then I remembered our secret from last Friday. We did the live unboxing. I'm like, oh, I need to get that stuff set up. So we're good to go. Anyways, huge, huge shout out. Orange Chat kicking off the top seat here. Top Dog talking about the lives with myself here. And Big Red starting to get addictive. Then we got members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew here. We got CK, KJ Pearson, Ethan Ruins, EDC, Grateful Panic Knives. We got Eggs and Ham 22, Penny Ripple, Form D Productions, a Therapeutic Edge. Huge shout out to Peter to Therapeutic Edge. OCD for EDC is here. What's up? What's happening? And all members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Same with Mark Grant, Paul Windmiller. You guys rock, man. Thank you, guys. Poncho151 just jumped in. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew along with Winchester Inc. Bells, Blades. Thank you guys so much for being here. Mark Bellwood's here. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you guys so much. Uh, huge shout out and thank you to Rennie as well. Uh, tossing in some great giveaway items. It's awesome, you guys. Now... If you're waiting for shipping from last weekend, um, I held off until this weekend to ship. So I'm shipping all that stuff um, tonight. And then, you know, because of the other stuff that's happening. Can't give it away, right? Because if you know, you know. All right, smash that like button. Heck yeah, CK. Man, I feel kind of honored, you know, having Zach Staley Carry Crew here, having a bunch of other people going on. Man, who else is here? We got, uh, oh, we appreciate it, man. That's that's awesome, OCD for EDC. Some great channels in here as well. So I you know you guys have some cool stuff going on. And I'm waiting, I'm trying to get, I don't know. So I got an interesting package in the mail and it came in yesterday and I was supposed to open it, but it's the like who it's addressed from. I can't, I can't, I can't put it together with anybody. So anyways, Hey, you're welcome, Mark. Definitely. You're welcome. Um, let's see here. Yeah. we got two great knives on the table as well. We got the mini Osborne, the 945, the black and blue G10. You're going to have that amazing aluminum production model coming out as well. It'll match your standard 940. And then, of course, you got the Mini Freak in carbon fiber S90V. Two beautiful blades. Um, yeah, Orange Hat, mine's supposed to be here as well. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's what I'm curious on, OCD for EDC. I got a package, and I don't know if it's from you guys or not. Because I don't know the... I don't know. It came from Lafayette. So I don't know if that's from you guys or not. So anyway, so I'm, I was, <laughs> I'm taking my time. I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I should open it. I don't know when. Um, so I'm going to probably try to plow through some of that, the packages that I got here tonight. So yeah, pretty crazy. You guys pretty crazy and wild. So once we hit 50 in here, we'll do a pocket check. I'll show you what I was carrying today. It's pretty awesome, pretty rad. 
Yeah, and we're going to get into that here in just a couple, Tim. Um, we got... Is it a brick or something? <laughs> no, it's a small priority package, um, but it's from Lafayette. So I can't picture who was sending me something from Lafayette. Hey, what's up, Rodney? Pearson's in the house. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Yeah, buddy. That's totally awesome. Yeah, no no thanks, KJ. What's up, Grim? What's up, Tim Young? Bad Monkey EDC? Sue Chicken? Jason Brown, of course. Welcome. Don C. Ryan Pearson's in the house. What's up, Ryan Pearson? Custom Knife Maker Extraordinaire. What's up, David? How are you? Adam M. Michael Morgan. Do some shout-outs here for you guys joining in. Matthew's here. I want to say Mauk. Is that how you say your last name? Matthew Mauk? Yeah. I don't, That's the weird part. Like, I have something from Stasa. And it's not It's not from Stasa. Like, the name totally threw me off. Ian Goodman's here. Yo, yo, yo. Remember Zach's Daily Carry Crew? If you guys want to join Zach's Daily Carry Crew, down below, next to the subscribe button, you'll see a join button. Um... It's an awesome way to support the channel. Richard Hendershot's here. What's up, buddy? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew along with Bell's Blades. Um, that's a way that you can, you know, support on a monthly basis. Um, it's a one-time monthly um, charge that they will do. Um, if you can do it, that's awesome. It's much appreciated. Helps out with the giveaways. Helps out with shipping. And it helps bring some knives into this channel that I can, I generally try to, like, get one and give one. That's kind of my method. So what's up G man W anyways, that's kind of the method behind the madness. So, Oh, almost home picking up the mail. Nice eggs and ham right on. Welcome buddy. Oh, what's going on, Jason? You're wife or so. Oh man. Well, dude, yeah. Check on her, man. Definitely. Jason. Hopefully she's doing okay. I know you guys have had a lot going on, man. So, you know, just prayers to you guys that she's doing good. Maybe she just needs a break. Definitely, definitely can understand that. Oh, Chicago 23. Thank you so much. Let's show Chicago 23 a little love. Thank you so much for your donation. That is super nice and super much appreciated. Oh, you're waiting on a phone call? Okay. Well, we totally get it. Uh, we hope she's doing good and hopefully it's just a break that she needs. Or something really simple, you know? That stuff gets a little scary, so. Uh, okay, so let's do pocket checks. We got 53 people watching. Um, yeah, the Mini Freak's amazing. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to put this out there as well. Just because we're going to talk about this beauty. And then we're going to talk about a couple others here in just a minute. But I want to know what you guys were carrying on this awesome Friday, or are carrying. Oh, back to the tap stuff. <laughs> Just out of the water bottles. Bummer, bummer. Adam's carrying the 0562 tie in the pocket for work tonight. Awesome. Very cool that you're you're jumping in at work. That's awesome. Uh, in the con in the pocket right now, the concept agent. Ooh, that's a good knife. That's a good knife, the therapeutic edge. Yeah, Paul Windmiller says the Wee Snacks Mini Buster. Grim's got the Asho Spiro, KJ Pearson, We've got the new PM2 Warncliffe. Oh, I saw those. Bell's Blades got the blacked out Paramilitary 2. Top Dog's carrying the Concept Prickle. I like that. Penny's got the proper. Very nice, Penny. Uh, no Mojo's got just a good guitar pick. That's, that's rocking it. It's rocking it. Be right back. Okay, tell her hello, Peter. Definitely. Uh, Rennie's got the bug out with aluminum custom scales. Ooh, nice. Are they, uh, I have some aluminum scales too. Right here. Are they aim front? Ooh, I like those. Uh, CK's got the military griptilian. Jason Brown's got a best tech textile. Goes to work with them every day. Hollywood tactical. What's up, buddy? I saw you on the, on the show last night. Uh, knife junkie podcast. That was pretty cool to see you on there. Right on. Got the Hogue Deca and the CRKT Carabiner neck knife. 
Form D Productions got the 535-3. Man, I love that knife. And the Mini Osborne, right on. Sue Chicken's got the Rough Rider Micarta work knife. Mr. Mayhem, 58's got the Benchmade Bug Out and the Artisan Zumwalt. KT32's got the GT Patron or Patron, Patron, Patron. I think that's how you want to say that. Scott Benefield's got the 940-2 as usual. A solid knife, a solid knife. Uh, Benchmade Autocraft for I Love Knives along with the Sabenza 21. Michael Morgan's got the Praxis and a Groman Featherweight Zytel Lockback. Uh, Andrew's got the Wee Snacks as well. Nice. OCD 3DCs carrying the sweet little pink mini bug out some guy gave me. Oh, yeah. Dude, uh, dude those, those pink bug outs turned out so good. So good. And, uh, yeah, I was trying to think if I had the... I think I have the dye right here. The dye that I used on that is that red dye right here, the super pink. Man, that color takes so well to those white mini bug out scales. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, Bad Monkey EDC has got the Kaiser Guru, customized by Big Boar. Shout out to Big Boar. Uh, Tucson TS-80 Tie and a Rough Rider Pipe Doctor. Don C's got the Condor, Cavalor, and Mini Bug Out. Chicago 23's got the Harsey Talos. Uh, Orange Hat's got the Grail Knife that I just got. It's a Mini CR. It's not very mini. <laughs> nice that's very cool uh rodney pearson's carrying the best tech falco blade ogre's got the protect emerson cqc7 uh tim young's got the bailout and i'm behind on comments you guys sorry i'm getting caught up uh mark bellwood's got the grip tanto corbin's got the sabenza 31 rhino edition nice um let's see here Matthew has the bug out with the blue scale on one side. And what's on the other? Oh, wow. Spider Co. Pair 2 Blackout. And a Griptilian. Right on. Ryan Pearson's got the Dragonfly K390. OCD for EDC collector number. Nice, nice. Mark Grant's got the DLC Adam and Shiro. Ian Goodman's got the Two Sun Tabor Sabertooth. Tabor Sooth. Yeah, either way, however you want to say it. Mike Williams got the full-size Presidio 2 aluminum tank. Love that one. Um, let's see here. Poncho 151's got the Z-Ware Makarta Shaman for a couple days now. Nice, nice. Blade Ogre's in the house. Winchester's got the small meat stick. Not very sharp. Oh, that's not good. David Iverson's got the ZT0393S. Is it SSW or just SW? SW. Red Victorinox, Alox, Pioneer X, Red Smoothbone Teardrop Jack. What's up, Rusty? Got the Aim Front Honeycomb ones. That's awesome, Rennie. Yeah, I love those. Those are awesome. Um, let's see here. Yes, prayers out to Jason and his family. Um, AF is carrying the Spider Co. Pair 3 Lightweight, Tenacious Lightweight, Leatherman Surge, and a Buck 119. All of them blocked out. I love it how it matches. That's so cool. G-Man W's got the Emerson Commander and a Mini Freak. Way to go. I Love Knives got the Benchmade Autocrat and Sabenza Sent 21. We talked about that. Um, my comments jumped, sorry. Full-size Griptilian and with AWT scales for Dash. Yeah, the Critter scales are nice, Rodney. I saw that the, he's got them on stock right now. So he must have posted his new stock right now um, on Friday or something. Or he just loaded up this week because there was nothing that sold out. So, oh, might get my 940 scales this week. We'll see. I didn't get paid this week, so I'm kind of like, you know, I'm waiting on that. <laughs> um, Rusty Hatcher has the Manix 2 All Blue Hardware and LMAX Steel. Very, very nice. Okay, Eggs and Ham made it home. Very cool. Mrs. OCD's man in the ship, FYI. Yeah, I kind of figured. I was like, is Justin carrying the mini bug out in pink? That'd be kind of a cool deal. Uh, Gabe's definitely picking up one of those new bug outs when you get a chance. Um, David Yoho's carrying the Atom and Mexican Jakarta and Malibu. Those custom scales are so awesome. The TRM, oh my gosh. I, it's hard. It's hard to go on that site and not buy a bunch of stuff, you know, guys? TRM's putting out some good stuff. And I'll tell you, 
I'm going to try to check as much as I can. But if somebody, you know, sees that some of the new knives are on there, shoot me a little text, you know, or shoot me a direct message or something on uh, Instagram. Really trying to find one of the, the access lock ones they have. Just to test it out. Or if you have one and you want to send it to me to test out and do a little review on, I'd do that as well. I like to compare it to kind of see the difference between kind of what Hogue does with the Able Lock and uh, those kind of things. So let's see, where do we leave off? Oh, Williams Knife Life. Thank you so much, man. Let's go ahead and give a little shout out to Williams Knife Life. Thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. That is very nice of you. And yeah, KJ, <laughs> I, I, I'm with you, man. Like I get, I get the whole deal with people having stuff and, you know, buying it and sell, reselling it and stuff. But, you know, I wish that we just didn't do that. So anyways, yeah, smash that like button. Um, sorry to hear that, Rodney, definitely. Hopefully, hopefully things turn back for you. Got a little something headed your way, buddy. I know you're you're super kind and sent something my way as well. So much love, much much appreciated. So uh, somebody said, let's see. Oh, be headed uh, our way soon. Yeah, we'll have to meet up totally. Oh yeah, we'll definitely do a live together. We'll meet up and do a live. I'm all about that. I'll pack up my gear with me. I got plenty of battery packs, whatever we need. You know, we can set up. We got a couple good places we can set up too. I know I know some people that have some like uh, uh, larger offices and conference rooms. So we could maybe even do that. Some good Wi-Fi. Uh, the Shadow. You got to add them today off the site. Oh, nice. You'll hit, hit one up. Nice. Somebody said they just got their mini Adamas delivered. I was trying to find that comment there right there. Don C says, I know a guy. Yeah, the Mini Adamas is very tempting. So we'll take a peek at that here in just a second. Um, AF said, hey, do you by chance have a Microtech UTX-70 in a California Legal Blade and a Spyderco Pair 3 you can show? I do not have a UTX-70. I've been looking for a UTX-70. Um, did I get my surprise? What surprise am I looking for? I think I, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, I didn't get a I didn't get your package yet. No, if it got delivered today, I didn't get it. I haven't checked on it. But what's up, Monster Racing Thirty Eight? How's it going? Bag of bug outs. Yeah, exactly. Um, the UTXs are so small, but I'm trying to get a UTX seventy in a blue, like a blue handled one. You guys know me, you know blue. But yeah, definitely, that's what I'm trying to get. So it'd be fun to get a shadow as well. Um, so let's go ahead, let's take this mini freak off the table and you guys, I have to tell you, you've probably been seeing these pop up on a lot of knife channels, people doing unboxings and some reviews. I saw somebody do a tear down and put their, uh, secondary scales on. This is beautiful. The Orion knife Solaris. It's a button lock flipper thumb stud knife made by our friend blade banter of now Orion knives. Just gorgeous. Um, and let's take this mini 945 off there as well. <laughs> it, did you know Molly is the best wife in the world? We, of course, knew Molly. Well, I, let's say second or third. Maybe, maybe you. Yeah. Omaha Knife has the blue UTX. Okay. I'll have to check them out, definitely. I have it on my list. And I'm try, I've been trying to find one. Uh, have some fun set aside to try to find one, but. Oh, okay. That's cool. Lavender pants. That's cool. Welcome. Welcome by the way. Um, yeah, if, if, if they're okay with you sending it, if, that'd be awesome for, to check out. I'd love to check one out. I'm trying to find one, but you know how that goes. I, they made a little post today that they're going to sprinkle them, you know, over through March, you know, through the website. So I was like, refresh, refresh, refresh. Cause that's, you know. You're at your computer. You just kind of keep that tab up. You're like, refresh. Woo. Hey, Michael Gaglione is here. What's up, buddy? Knife Fast made it. What's up? Welcome, welcome. Um, Yeah, the Spyderco Pair 3. Sorry about that. Sidetracked. I appreciate you reminding me of that. 
I do have a Spider Co pair three lightweight. Oh, okay, I got you. That makes sense. Totally lavender pants. I got you. What's up, Tom? Tom's here. What's up, Tom? Welcome, welcome. Rusty says, "Ever seen an ice, an icorn with glow in the dark blade?" No, I have not. What's up, Beaver Baron? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, smash that like button. That'd be awesome. Yeah, so I looked and saw that. You guys, if you saw my Instagram, I reposted the new SMKW bug out exclusive. Now, I'm trying to... Hey, Lawn Ranger made it. What's up, buddy? Now, Lawn Ranger, I was I was asking a question earlier because I got a package that I picked up yesterday. And it's from Lafayette. But I don't recognize who it's from. Like the sender name. So I don't know if that was something that you know about either. But I put that question out there earlier. Yeah, so this Spidey Lightweight has the uh, the blue titanium hardware from our buddy Triple um, X down in Australia, and it just it totally pops on this knife. You know, this is this is the one that I kind of carry quite a bit. I was trying to get in on that uh, that uh, that wire clip drop that they did over at River's Edge Cutlery with uh, the Lynch ones, because Lynch makes some uh, replacement ones. I was trying to get a black one. I'm like, that would look sick on that knife, but or a blue one, but no, I didn't. So that's pretty cool right there. Um, let's see here. Knife Sergeant's here. What's up, buddy? Did a little F5 spamming today on the Strider site. I heard they did a drop on that stuff. They probably went crazy fast, huh? Yeah, that looks it looks pretty sweet. So the SMKW uh, bug out exclusive. Uh, it's gonna be a comparison color wise to the um, the bug the or I'm sorry the bailout the, with the aluminum scales. It's gonna look really close to that. Now I had a couple questions on their website or not on their website but on their post, and then I looked at the website that they linked, and they said it's like a a, a GRN like or a grivery handle. But to me, it looks like it's the same pattern as the G10. And the specs are like a mini bug out. So I don't know if it's a, a true mini. I messaged them and I was trying to hear back, but I was like, hmm. Yeah, putting a blue CME on there would, would look pretty cool too. If you haven't seen the CME from OCD for EDC. It's the uh, compression made easy. So it kind of, it, it locks onto this right here. And it makes it easier to push in. So it's a cool little little design they've come up with. You've seen those. Yeah, congrats to Nice Fast, man. Nice Fast channel hit a thousand, so that's pretty cool. Quentin Sales made it. What's up, buddy? Let's see here. Where can you get bronze anodized hardware for your pair three lightweight? Yeah, that's so um, our friend Adrian down in Australia. Let me get a link to his channel. Okay, sounds good, Dylan. What's up, buddy? Glad you made it. We'll talk to you when you get home, buddy. Totally. We'll talk to you when you get home. Yeah, swipe right for Dylan. You guys saw that last week on the live. We'll do a little we'll do a little quick quick plug right now. Right here for our buddy Dylan. Swipe right for Dylan. Heck yeah. That's good stuff. But yeah, so that's one of the things that uh it's pretty cool. Just this knife community coming up with new things. I know OCD for EDC is just always thinking about, you know, machining. So that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. That'd be cool. Nice. Yeah. Bring some when you come out this way. We'll check it out. But yeah, let me get a link to uh, our buddy down in Australia here. And I'll post it up in the, in the live chat right now. Just so that way you guys can see um, what's going on with it because he's got so much cool hardware. Sorry, I'm typing, you know, the multitasking thing. Okay. Custom design anodized titanium parts for all sorts of knives. This is cool stuff. You guys. Okay. So let me back that up. Let me open the stream back up here. 
Now, this is going to be pretty cool stuff. If you guys have ever checked out his stuff, you guys know what's going on with it. But don't be afraid by the, the website itself. It's a pretty legit deal. And he does some pretty good shipping options. And it's pretty quick. Uh, one of the ones he used last time, I think, was like DHL. And it worked really great. Um, I know he also does some FedEx stuff as well, too. So shout out to our FedEx people in the house. You're overstocked with red thumb studs? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Yeah, I think last time I ordered from Adrian, it took about a week and a half. So it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Oh, yeah. That's super cool. Welcome back, Therapeutic Edge. Welcome back. Yeah, you never know, Quentin. You never know. Something like that. Who knows? Oh, nice. Destroyer STP. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that white bug out's pretty sick, dude. I like that. Yeah, so don't worry about that that link, you guys. Seriously, it's a safe link. Uh, it's Adrian's It's Adrian's website down in Australia. It's a thing with the, the Aussies. That's why it's labeled like that. It doesn't make sense to us, of course. But he's got amazing, amazing hardware. I've, his products are fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Orange Hat started another channel called Frank Knives. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, it slows it down a little bit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's a slower Zach attack. That's for sure. Oh, wow. And a 20-year-old computer. That's crazy. That's wild. Yeah, so Northwoods Knife Guy's got a question. I think you guys are all waiting for it. Oh, okay, Gabe, good. Yeah, you recognize it. Yeah, that's good, that's good. So the difference between the link and the eBay page, you can use his eBay page as well. Um, you know, I prefer actually going to his website because you're buying from him directly there. Um, you're not having to go through eBay because as we all know with eBay, you know, you're gonna, as a seller, you're gonna pay some fees on top of it. So he adjusts his prices that way. So yeah, and he's got so much more stuff listed on his website than on his eBay page. But yeah, so I did get um, some new Benchmades this week. You guys probably saw. And prior to you showing you those, I want to show you what I was carrying today in my pocket. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, it's Zach's underscore stuff. My Instagram page, you probably saw what I'm carrying today. But this beautiful knife right here from Hogue Knives. It's the Doug Ritter Mini RSK MK1 G2 with the red G Mascus. Beautiful, beautiful knife. 20 CV. The G Mascus itself is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. Starburst pattern that starts around the pivot, goes out through the scale. Some good grippy material here. Just a beautiful, beautiful knife. So I was carrying that one today. As you guys know, I also have the purple one. We'll show that one out real quick. There's the purple one. So you can see kind of the comparison on those two. That's pretty cool. Oh, your wife just called. She has gallstones. Oh, man. I hear that's pretty painful, Jason. Well, I'm glad that that's something they can definitely take care of. So that's it's positive. Better than what it could have been. So I'm glad that they've identified what's going on with that. Yeah, so these are KnifeWorks exclusives, made by Hogue. Of course, they're Doug Ritter design knives. Very familiar look to them. Um, kind of similar to what they had at the Benchmade level. Uh, the red one and the purple one, they're selling all of these through KnifeWorks. So, what's up, Nick Martino? Welcome, buddy. So, yeah. So, these are both sold through KnifeWorks. Um, all of Doug Ritter's ones are being sold exclusively right now through KnifeWorks. 
So just go to knifeworks.com. Um, and I think it's on their main page right now. The red one is. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the, the Ritter ones. And I think, let's see here. Do I have the full-size one right here handy? I have the orange one as well, the mini. There's the orange one in comparison. But you'll see a review up on that because I really love the red one. But overall, it's been a, a beautiful knife to carry today. And one of the things that I did, if you guys see this, um, you know, it kind of comes with that stone wash clip. Those kind of things. Hey, what's up, women carry knives? Welcome, welcome. I think, didn't you just hit uh, 2K on your channel? Or are you still really close to it? I think you hit the 2K. Didn't we get that done last weekend? <laughs> nice, Sergeant. Hey, if you got too many, I'll take the purple one. Yeah, welcome, welcome, Christine. I'm carrying knives. Another awesome channel. Not yet, but very close. Okay, so yeah. Go check out Women Carry Knives. Um, feel free to put a link to your channel in there, Christine, if you want, because she's got an awesome, awesome perspective on knives, and she has no problem sharing it with you. So, And she's very, very open to answering questions as well. So, Reminds you of John Ritter. The Regal Beagle. <laughs> yeah, so these are... the All of these... Um, all of these are two screw operation deep carry clips, but they mill them out and put the fasteners for three holes. So you can use any of Benchmade's clips on there, mini deep carry, a standard, whatever you like. So she is a nice one for sure, Peter says. <laughs> What's up, C. Lemansky's here? What's up, buddy? So yeah, so if you want a different clip, you can definitely put that on. And speaking of a different clip, um, on the website at Knifeworks, the cool part is they also sell you different clips. So I ordered a black clip, deep carry, for this one. And I think it's going to look pretty sweet. So I'll put that on later. But they, the cool part about when they send you, when they buy a clip from them, they give you the extra screws and they give you a little um, torque wrench. So literally, you don't even have to have your own toolkit. They send it all in the package with you. So I think that's really cool of them to do that. Um, it does cost a little extra. Um, I think it's like $12 or something like that, but totally worth it. And on this one, I think the black clip's going to look pretty sweet. So yeah, it'll look really nice. So, okay. So let's go ahead and put some of these away. Maybe we'll move these up here. Put them up here just so we can keep them on screen. So we kind of know what we're talking about today. Now, no tax, free shipping. Exactly, Last Ranger. Exactly. Another great point. Purchasing them. Uh, free, hashtag free Torx wrench. Can't beat that. Now, something that I carried this week. And that's the new Mini Adamas. Hopefully you guys have seen my review on it. If not, please go check out my review on it. I've got some amazing comments. It's got that tungsten finish, the crew wear. And like I said, this is a I'm a I'm a large glove size hand. My hand fits perfectly on there. And it's just it's just that perfect EDC tank knife. Oh, okay, Lawn Ranger. Oh, perfect. Okay. That's what we talked about. Well, I was scared to open it because I'm like. I didn't recognize the address or the name. And I'm like, uh, should I open it? I was scared today. I was like, okay. Okay. Now it all makes sense. I'm glad you're here and you answered that for me. Thank you so much. I, I know that's what I was worried about. KJ I was like, is it a glitter package? <laughs> uh, I had one of those surprise packages sent to me, um, from OC, Mrs. OCD for EDC. So yeah, so this is a, a tungsten gray coating. It's got a really light texture to it. Um, the sprayed on portion. What's up, Danielle, man? Daniel, man. Daniel E, man. But it's it's basically so it doesn't reflect light. So the cool part about it is it, it feels similar to most regular blade coatings. 
so there's no real texture on it. I mean, you can feel a little tiny bit, but it feels really, really close to just the normal, like Cerakoting, those kind of things. But yeah, so this one is awesome. And I know there's a couple dealers um, because they have the flat earth version as well. So here's how you can see compared to the mini grip. Sorry, not mini grip. Oof, I'd probably get smacked if I was close to Doug. That's the mini Ritter. <laughs> But you can see the size comparison on that. It's pretty It's pretty similar, a little bit bigger. And it to me, it's just the perfect EDC size. Um, let's see here. Uh, Hollywood says there's Spyderco versus Benchmade anti-gang faction. No, no, not at all. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see, what question did I miss? Yeah, Molly sent me an awesome package and it had a a butterfly it was a plastic and wire butterfly that was like rubber banded tight and so when i opened it it flew out oh man it it startled me on my on my video it was pretty crazy it was fun to watch though i'm sure you guys enjoyed it uh nick martino says hey zach would you agree that 154 cm or cpm 154 is probably one of the best everyday use deals it totally is uh, no glitter in that one, nice fast. And, you know, those, that nice steel, both of those. What's up, Chad? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining in. Um, I like that because it's easy to put edge on it, uh, especially when you're out on the go and you're going to use like a small work sharp or something that you carry in your pack. It's ready to go. Um, gets that edge going again. To me, it's a good steel, you know. Um, you know, the, the community, the market wanted better steels. Everybody upgraded to S30, S35, those kind of things. Now we're looking at some that are going S45, um, 20 CVs on all the, you know, the Ritters. Um, so that's kind of cool, the Ritter Hogs, or the Hogue Ritters. But yeah, so that's pretty cool stuff. Um, let's see. Now, I was talking about the Mini Adamuses. The original size Adamus was heavy and sharp. My wife dropped it and it went first or tip first into my foot. Oh, that would hurt. That would definitely hurt. Um, yeah, exactly, Nick. Yeah, the 154, either way has been good. And I know a couple of them, it came up as like pretty darn, com uh, pretty darn comparable to each other. And so knife manufacturers were using one versus the other just because the price was uh, lower. So, okay. Now, some dealers have been waiting to sell some of these because of the fact that they were sorting out some stuff. But look at that. This is, this is the flat earth version of the Mini Adamas. And it is beautiful. I love, I love how it looks. Got that kind of OD green G10. You got the tan coated blade, Cerakoted, black liners, black hardware, black thumb studs. This is a sweet knife. So, yeah, I don't know, Mike, if anybody's got a discount code on there. I wish I had one. I would have used it earlier. But yeah, the flat earth version. And these all come like Totally functional out of the box. This one's brand new. Um, and it just, it feels like it's broke in already. So there's no like break in period. There's no lock stick on these. You know, I think it's just done perfect. So will more of these be coming out? Uh, do you just mean quantity wise? Because I know that quantity wise, they've, they've, they've put a lot of them out. So... Oh, you tried to get one from DLT, but too late. Yeah, and here's the thing. Because there's a there was a thing going on that they had to wait. Um, there, was, there was a error, I should say. I don't know if I can speak too much about it, but there was a problem with a label. That's the only thing I can tell you. So they had to fix a label before they can send them out is what I was thinking on it. So... If you can walk in and buy one of these somewhere, great. I know Benchmade's selling them, um, but you're going to pay a little bit more than your knife dealers. Your knife dealer stuff should be sorted out 
and those should be heading out. So I'm guessing their stock will all go live probably um, Monday, you know, beginning of the week or something. So neither one of yours is first production. So the, the flat earth are not first production. So they usually generally only make one variant in first production, which this one is first production here. And, you know, Cybert builds a, a solid knife and these are just fantastic. So you saw someone with a first production flat earth today. I'd be interested to see that because I know that they didn't make any of those. The only thing that I would think is that somebody uh, added that after the fact because it didn't come from the factory as first production in the flat earth. Oh, uh, let's see here. What's up, Scott? How you doing? Trying to get caught up on comments here really quick just to see if I missed anything. What's up, Morgan? Morgan's here. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry crew. Nice, nice. Oh, okay, Rodney, yeah. I've been carrying my banter. Yeah, totally. So my banter gets carried in my bag all the time. Um, on my table here, I don't have it. I'll, the only one I have on my table is the, the G10 version because I'm finishing up my review on it. But my other ones, the blue and the black one, carry that all the time. That's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, go grab some dinner, monster. Right on, buddy. Thanks for jumping in. Yeah, so Therapeutic Edge brings up a good point. The full-size version is less than a month away. Um, Monday, they are dropping the Auto Fact. So starting Monday, your dealers will start selling the Auto Fact if that interests you. Um, you'll see a review on, on Monday for my Auto Fact kind of unboxing review. And it, I like it. It's pretty sweet. So does anyone know if anyone is stocking the Benchmade Super Freak? Yeah, it should be stocked places. I haven't seen it go out of stock. Um, you know, start checking some of the smaller knife dealers because I know some of the larger ones um, have ran out of stock and are waiting on other orders. They've reordered kind of some of their most popular knives right now. Uh, yeah, the Crewwear Steel, um, it's really performing well. And in all the testing they did, it's it's a it's a tough tough steel, you know. It's made to be used and abused. So, oh, there you go. Mike Williams said they had them. White Mountain Knives had them earlier today, and I think our buddy Slicey Dicey still has a discount code over there. Hey hey, Steve Kluver's in the house. What's up, Mister Kluver? Welcome welcome. Yeah, the Jade Banner is pretty sick looking. I know a lot of people have swapped blades and stuff around, but. Yeah, that auto fact is nice. You know, if you like the fact itself, being a slimmer knife, this one kind of classes it up a bit. Aluminum bolsters, carbon fiber scales in the middle. That's good. Knife Joy's got the mini Adamas on sale. Okay. Yeah. LTK has a code for white mountain knives too. Okay, nice. Yeah, and Kruger is all bought from the same company. You know what I mean? So the 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 steel is good the steel is good and it's going to stand up well because um i know a lot of people you know said hey i know my buddy stasa 23 he did a review on the black one because he picked one of those up and you know he was like hey if that if the heat treat that they said they treated it at which you know is coming in between 63 and 65 hrc um it's going to be it's going to be solid for you so how wide is the Mini Adamas? Um, well, let's compare it. So let's see, what's a good comparison? So let's do the Spyderco Pair 3. You can see it's a little bit wider than the Spyderco Pair 3. And then let's see if we can get one that's more comparable. I don't know if you guys know the Mini Presidio 2 thickness, but it's just a hair thicker than that. Not much at all though. So it's a, it's like I said, it's an EDC tank. You know, if you like the mini Presidio size, the, that's the CF Elite version, then you're going to see that. 
Um, you know, here's the, the thickness comparison with a bug out. So you're definitely going to have a, a difference in comparison there. But the bug out's made to be super thin. And let's see here. I'm trying to see if I have another one that's that's a really good comparison. You know, here's a mini bug out. And it's not too much thicker than the mini bug out. You know, your huge difference is going to be those full stainless steel liners on your thickness. So, and this one's just built. It's just built, ready to work. So, yeah, you can put the little compartment to put the bug out inside there. Or like a proper. Just, you know, have a little transformer knife. That'd be kind of cool to see something like that. Oh, very cool, Mrs. OCD. Got the date going. Husband's just listening to the to the, the show. Nice. Well, shout out to both you guys. 0.62 thick. That's the specs on it. Yeah, 0.62. So it's good. What's up, Cauldron? Cauldron Fitzpatrick's here. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah, it's a mini grip. Sorry. Did I not say mini grip? I probably said something else. I get confused on those when I got the Ritter, when I got the Ritter Hogue out here and I start playing with that and the bench maids and so I get myself in trouble. <laughs> very, very cool. Well, let's see here. Um, since our friend and knife designer Dylan Mallory's here, um, what is your website? that you want to plug because I know if you guys want some merch for swipe right for Dylan, if you want some Mallory designs stuff, if you want some of his logoed gear, those kind of things, um, it's running out at the end of March. So definitely let's go ahead and get a link up there because we want to make sure that we get that merch picked up before the end of the month. Yeah, he's got a sweet knife that he's designing. He's been he's been basically like tempting all of us big time. Oh, you're fidgeting with your Ritter hug. Nice, Mr. G. Very cool. <laughs> Molly's got a meme. Um Cole says, What's your opinion on the aim from bug out scales? They have a few cool designs and a ton of colors, but they've been out of stock. Um, and Chad says, I want a proto of the new design I saw on your Instagram. We all want a, pro a proto of that. I'm, I'm willing to help test that out. Cauldron's carrying his rear too. Yeah, that's awesome. I Just a quick uh, thing on these. I, I got the swoosh pattern in black, and they're fantastic. You know, very lightweight. I did a review on a set of these already, and I love them. You know, it, it takes your bug out from having those plastic FRN scales or whatever, grivery, and it just gives it the sturdiness of aluminum, but still very lightweight. And then, of course, you know, the different colors are great. I, I'm really hoping, they said they had more stuff coming out color-wise, but overall... It's good. Um, I also have a set of green ones here because I couldn't I couldn't tell if I was gonna like the forest green or the black, and I think I'm I think I like the black. It's the link on your bio on Instagram. Oh man, struggles real. Okay, you just put on the set of honeycomb ones. Yeah, I love them. They make them they make them so sturdy because you go from you know, having the FRN grivery and it just, it makes it solid. So you're not going to need a backspace or anything to get rid of flex when you have those aluminum scales. So I really hope, you know, they, he had some like neon zombie green looking ones. And I was like, Oh, that'd be sweet to like, you know, do a combo, but Oh, well it is what it is. Right. Yeah. And they're only $53. They're super cheap. Um, you know, they're at least half the cost of what the titanium ones are out there. And you don't see too many of the aluminum ones going on. So 
uh, yeah, so Dylan, I will go and try to find that link here in just a second. Um, unless somebody else like women carry knives or something wants to grab that link and post it up from your Instagram bio. Very nice. Very nice. Um, let's see here. Oh, the blue backspacer that is from rock scale designs. So you just go to rockscaledesigns.com. This is an anodized titanium. You know, you can see the use on the titanium a little bit because this is one of the bug outs I carry all the time. But it's a geared backspacer. Something very similar to what um, Benchmade did on the new bug out. What's up, Chef V? What's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Winchester said, just stepped out. What are we talking about? Okay, Christine, thank you. That's super awesome of you to do that. Uh, we're talking about the new mini Adamuses here, the flat earth. What's up, Lisa? Lisa's being super nice, super kind right now, cooking up some food. Very cool. We got the, the mini in black and tungsten gray. And then, of course, we have the flat earth, OD green, and tan blade. Both with black hardware, black clips. Let's see here. I'm talking about Sabenza up there. Yeah, the honeycomb pattern is nice, and I think... Rennie said just got some put on his as well. So why CRKs are so expensive? <laughs> uh, yeah, their their work on them is pretty pretty intense. So did you see scales? Yeah, the scales I showed were the aim front scales, and these are the black swoosh pattern aim front bug out scales. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it got flagged because I was talking about the flat earth color tone. Yeah. What's up, Todd? Welcome, welcome. Glad you made it. Glad you made it. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I should make sure to say color tone or color, color wave or color pattern, something of that nature. Definitely, most definitely. Well, that's cool. That's very cool. What's up, Joseph? Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're missing our buddy Big Red because he's enjoying his vacation in a tropical island on Hawaii or in Hawaii on Maui. Rennie says uh, he ordered them around February 24th. He only had three black or three of them back then and 20 people had it in their cart. Uh, oh, thanks, Christine. So uh, Dylan Mallory has a link in his bio on his Instagram for his merchandise site. And I know we talked about the Dylan Mallory stuff, um, you know, the swipe right for Dylan and get some of his logo stuff. So he's got his merchandise that's closing down at the end of this month. So we just want to make sure that people hooked it up and checked out his website because we love Dylan Mallory. We want to swipe right for Dylan. And so if you can find that link and post it for us, that'd be super awesome. If not, right after this post, then definitely check out the description below and you'll see a link for Dylan Mallory, our friend, his merchandise. Everyday City Carry, man, what's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Our guy Ray from NYC is here. Thank you for the support, my friend. Let's give Ray a little love. Everyday City Carry, if you haven't checked him out, Oh, there's the link right there. Thank you so much, Women Carry Knives. There's a link right there to Dylan's Instagram. Go check it out. Check out his merchandise. Um, you know, he's closing that merchandise shop at the end of the month. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Rennie. Uh, you know, don't forget tomorrow, 2 p.m. Pacific, to tune in to Big Red's Saturday Knife Live. We'll just put a little plug right there because I'm going to be there. And I know he's going live from the island. So that'll be kind of cool to see is he's going live from the island. So, and I think he's got a couple of treats to show us because we talked about a couple of things last week on his SKL. And if you don't remember that, go back and check it out because I think we're going to have some fun tomorrow. So, oh, look at that. 
You even got a 15% off code. Hashtag swipe right for the merchandise site. That's awesome, you guys. Yeah, man. Everyday City Carry, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate the super chat. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it. Help support the channel. Um, yeah, you'll be there too, Nick. Right on. That's great. Yeah, so Joseph, it's at 2 p.m. Saturday, tomorrow, Pacific. 2 p.m. Pacific. Napster Ninja, what's happening? It'll be there to have some fun. <laughs> when does my SMKW bug out arrive? You know, there may be there may be some stuff in the works to get one next week, so you might be seeing one of those on here. That'll be good. But I have to say, overall, seriously, even over the, the exclusive bug out coming out, the auto fact, those kind of things, this knife right here is still going to be one of my favorites so far of the whole year. I think the only thing that's going to be able to pass this is if they end up having like a uh, 940 Osborne exclusive or finally come out with my uh, 940 in the custom knife shop or something. But this is a pretty fantastic one. And the full-size one for Peter, it's on its way. It'll be here in less than a month, and we'll do a good comparison. If you saw, if you want to see a, a sneak peek, go to my mini Adamus unboxing that I just posted here Monday or Tuesday, and you'll see um, a comparison with the new Flat Earth full-size. I do a quick little shout on that. Sneak it in there a little bit early for you, you know what I mean? Try to give you guys a little shout. My orange bug out from Cabela's. I, I have some stuff. I have one coming that I can check out this next week. So auto mini Adamas in the works. You never know. They did them on the, they did them on the first production ones, uh, you know, several years ago. So I would not doubt that they have that in their toolbox. I won't be able to share if they're working on it, but you never know. I mean, maybe if they did like a, a Zach exclusive 940 Osborne, then I would say, hey, that's that's going to be way better to compare than, you know, these mini Adamuses. But the, these are a home run, you guys. These are a home run. So if you have the ability and you want, you know, a, a knife that you have no problem putting through, you know, the car hood or something, it's good for you. All right, Jason, take care of the wife. I appreciate you being here, sharing with us. Hopefully you get all that worked out. We'll say some prayers for you, buddy. Oh, another week. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, a Z exclusive. That would be sweet to have a Z exclusive 940 Osborne. I mean, think about if they did like a Black Blade Blue G10 on this Mini Adamus with black hardware and stuff, man, that might even be an exclusive I'd want to be in on. That would be fantastic. Yeah, that's good. That is super good. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Oh, oh, 10 for 10K. <laughs> Form D Productions, thank you so much for the super chat. Yes, we're continuing the 10 for 10K. We're rolling for it. Thank you very much. Let's show a little love for Form D Productions. A little shout out. Show a little love for them. Thank you so much for the super chat. That is terrific. <laughs> Women Carry Knives says, now I can type. So here it goes. Give a shout out and all the thank yous to everybody. So yeah, so I'm still going to do my live coming up this Sunday at noon Pacific, um, as I generally do. Um, we will have some cool new stuff on the channel to show as well as probably a giveaway like usual. Um, and tonight there's something special that we're going to be doing here in a minute as well. And <laughs> well, thank you, Tom. I would hope that they would make thousands and thousands of them and they would all sell super fast. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, thank you guys for showing some love for Form D Productions. That's pretty cool. <laughs> if you like liking the like button, don't forget to like. Exactly, Todd. That's a good way to put it. Paper Tiger's here. What's up, Paper Tiger? I think I missed you earlier, so shout out. Shout out to Paper Tiger. 
Now, what should we do? We're looking at about an hour right now. We've got 103 people here. Now, were you guys here last week, last Friday? We had some fun times. We had some fun times. Now, you guys, <clears throat> I think it was the members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew voted this week on the, the 940 collection update. Yeah, time flies, having fun. I want to I want to keep to a, a timely basis on today. You know, maybe Sunday we'll stroll a little bit, but I want to keep on a timely basis today. But Yeah, Chad, I'm 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 kind of bummed out I didn't do the carbon fiber upgrade. I did talk to David Blade Banner um at Orion Knives and he said that, you know, those of us on the Kickstarter are going to have some more options because we had some options on it. Um, it went pretty fast because they want to get shipping out. I really hope I get the carbon fiber as well for mine because it'll look sick and fantastic with this blue. I mean, I'm the, I'm, I like blue. So, I mean, to have a red knife like this, it's a little different. I know Big Red's like, hey, I'm coming back from the island. I'm going to have to check that one out. So, I'm probably going to hit that one over to Big Red here in a, in a little bit. But... Oh, no notifications from Women Carry Knives. Yeah, I got to fix that. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Keith's in the house. Kiefer, what's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, happy you're here. Randy as well. What's up, Randy? Yeah, sell some to get some. Definitely. Definitely, Orange Chat. What's up, Jexter? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so we're going to have some cool stuff to talk about on Sunday as well. I can't wait for tomorrow for SKL on Big Red's channel. I know there's some other lives going on this weekend as well. Uh, we have Sunday is kind of packed full of some. There's some awesome ones. Uh, we have um, Bruise of Blades, um, Slicey Dicey's channel. We got OCD for EDC as well right after that. And then after that, we have... Um, I don't, I don't know if you guys are going live again, women carry knives and therapeutic edge. Um, but that one's, you know, right after OCD for EDC. So kind of a packed full Sunday night. Um, I love it because it's fun and it's pouring down rain here this weekend. Whereas last weekend it was super sunny and I just want to give a shout out to, um, Peter and Christine, uh, women carry knives and a therapeutic edge. You guys are super, super kind. So talking about do something kind for someone, you know, they are very awesome. And if you saw their live from last Sunday, you know what I'm talking about. They blew me away. I literally, let's upside down. Let's do it right side up. But I was literally blown away and can't even hold on to the sticker right now thinking about it. So I just want to say thank you guys very much. Uh, Jimmy Slash is going live here soon, so I don't want to step on his toes. Because Jimmy's a cool dude. But let's go ahead and get to something that you guys are waiting for. That is our special from last week. Now that special is going to be, let's see here, get to the right web page. Now that special is going to be this. If you guys were here last Friday, you know what's up. That is right here 9 30 central jimmy slash okay there you go what's up slick that is the solaris knives or the orion knives solaris oh <laughs> donkey dave what's up mark what's happening so this knife right here with red accents red backspacer i mean beautifully put together right out of the box I bought this one for you guys. So when the Kickstarter went on live here many, many, many months ago, I ordered one with blue because I was like, I want to have the blue. But on this one, this is for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and move these a little bit. I want to put this one front and center because this is for you guys. So yeah, there's the website right there for orionknives.com. You can get signed up on their newsletter. That's the one that, you know, as soon as he's got a lot of the stuff shipped out for all the backers from the Kickstarter, 
as soon as that is finished, anything left over, that he's going to start doing some um, pre-sales. So make sure to get signed up so you get notified if there's some pre-sales. And he's going to do another another purchase of them or another run of them and get them all. So you guys won't be able to you know miss out or, or feel missed out because you'll be able to get one. But it'll just take probably a couple more months when the, he does his second run of them. However, you can win one. And the question is, you were here last week. I want to celebrate you guys for being here. I want to celebrate you guys for leaving a comment. And basically, I asked you guys to go to, when that, when that live posted last week, I said, hey, go there, leave a certain comment. Yeah, Christine Attack, definitely. Thank you so much. Um, that's pretty cool. So I want to put a knife in your hand that you won't be able to get right now for a few months, maybe a couple months, maybe a month, depending on how pre-sales go. However, you had to do, do the words. <laughs> had to do the words. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and pulled up everything right here and basically we have the link so you can see the link right there that's the link to last week's live and i filtered duplicate users i've also also filtered it by dskfs hashtag dskfs which was what you had to put and there are 90 unique comments so somebody one in 90 chance to win that knife so i'm hoping you're here live that'll be pretty awesome um, you got to be 18 years or older, got to have a U.S. shipping address. Those are the only things that I needed to have to make this happen for you guys. So let's go ahead and pick a winner. Good luck to you all. Let's see here. Oh, you're only six away from 2K. Okay, yeah, don't forget to go check out Women Carry Knives. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But yeah, make sure to put a link up to your channel there so we can make sure everybody goes and follows. Let's hit the start. Let's get our winner for the Orion Knives with black G10 and red accents. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Xavier Croft. Glad I watched the whole video. DSKFS. Congratulations, Xavier. If you're here, please let us know. Now, I will say this as well. 72 hours from now, I need to have confirmation. So, if somebody watched, if they're not here, you didn't have to be present to win, but congratulations, Xavier, 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 and contact me, zach.edc at gmail.com, or go ahead and, you know, instant mess or direct message me, instant message. Like, I'm on, like, anyways. <laughs> Won't bring up, won't bring up, uh, what was that? What was that one before Facebook? I don't even remember. Anyways, but congratulations. You can email me or direct message me on Instagram either way. We'll confirm this. Oh, you're here. Woo, nice. Let's give a little shout out. Yeah, right on. Congratulations. You're here. That is fantastic. Yeah, MySpace. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, man, that's so awesome that you're here. Well, congratulations. That is terrific. That is terrific, Xavier. Thanks for thanks for supporting. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching the video. You know, thanks for going and taking care of business and being part of the community. That's what it's about. That's why I do this, you know. Um, I, I love celebrating people that are here in person, people that are watching the videos and interacting um, that's why I want to do this one on the unboxing. So yeah, you can always work something out. It all depends, you know, it all depends. Orange chat. We can, uh, we can definitely take care of, you know, sending this to parents, those kind of thing. Those are small little easy hurdles to take care of. Um, yeah, I don't know, Morgan. I don't know if it does exist. That's so awesome that you're here right on. Well, this one has not been used to cut anything. Um, you know, use it to flip around and, and show people how it works. So that's pretty awesome. Alkis is here. What's up, Alkis? So congratulations. I'll put this one away. Make sure we get it. It's also going to come with the, the cool backer exclusive 
holographic sticker and packaging for all of us who supported the Kickstarter. So you'll get all the original packaging and everything. So just shoot me that email. We'll get this mailed out to you um, probably tonight. So doing a little shipping tonight. So that'll be great. Right on. Be your first button lock. That's so cool. That's so cool. Now, we had a couple things to talk about really quick. We wanted to talk about... Um, oh, you're welcome, Joseph. Yeah. You know, that's one of those things. I, I love to, you know, give back to the community. And especially when we're supporting our own community members here who are working on their own, you know, knife projects and those kind of things. Just like with Dylan, you know, just like with you know, Pearson custom knives, anything like that. We just want to support each other on things that people are doing good. So yeah, it'll be your first Orion knives too. And I think there's more being planned, but that's just rumor. So what's up, Deadpool? How's it going, buddy? Oh yeah, it helps to hit enter on your chat. <laughs> that always does, that always does help. That always does help. Well, thanks. I appreciate it, Blade Edge. Thank you so much. Now, one of the things, Christine, please post a uh, link to your YouTube channel. She is six away from 2K. She's doing a giveaway. Once she hits 2K, I want to make sure she gets to 2K tonight. So if you guys haven't followed Women Carry Knives, please click the link when she posts it up here. Go give her a follow. Check out a couple of her videos. Leave her some comments. Let her know what you think of it. Go go for that. So, yeah, David, let me know what it is, and we'll try to we'll try to put it on there. You know, we gotta support. There's so many great knife channels on here. I saw a comment before also from OCD for EDC. Oh, she's at 2K. Right on. We'll go follow. Let's try to get her to like 2100. You know, there's 100 people on here, right? which probably I I would imagine at least the majority of you guys follow her, but if not. Yeah, yeah, exactly, The Last Ranger. That'd be great. Yeah, there's a link right there. Go click it. Get subscribed up. Yeah, that's awesome. Got 2K. Woohoo! Nice. We're doing good stuff tonight. We're giving away knives. We're getting people to different... Uh... Oh, she's catching up with you. <laughs> okay, so now the race is <laughs> to get her to pass the therapeutic edge. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, the house household... Uh little feud there little race yeah that's that's an amazing amazing accomplishment congratulations that's that's pretty cool so <laughs> she's gonna pass you she said oh nice very top top dogs already already subbed in so that's cool but yeah so i saw ocd for edc said that there's gonna be a um on their show sunday they're gonna be able to show off a whole bunch of mods and stuff so that's kind of cool I don't know what kind of mods you had going this week, but I missed your guys' show last week because I went out, silliness, I went out after my live stream and it was beautiful out. And yeah, JB's, JB's uh, he's having fun over in Maui and all that good stuff. So yeah, he's, he's responding to comments on Instagram and all that every once in a while, which is pretty cool. We had a good chat the other night. When he came back to his room and all that and was hanging out, we chatted for quite a bit and talked about some of the cool things they're doing over there and all that. So it's I'm very jealous because um, I remember when we were there two years ago and it was pretty awesome. So uh, let's see here. Orange Hat says, Zach, looking to get in a mini bug out. The question is orange or all black? I like the all black one, the CF Elite. That's pretty fantastic. So... Oh, he did a Kapara mod. Oh, man. Kapara mod. Yeah, I would say the all black as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the red the red Ritter, the mini Ritter is, is beautiful, you guys. But yeah, I mean, you could do orange, you know, if you want to match your hat. <laughs> exactly. Just like what Suit Chicken said. But... Uh, ben says... I want to pick up the 940. Do you recommend it? I would say, let's see here. Let me throw, let me throw some stuff around. But I would say I would, re I would recommend a 940 or two. 
You know, there's some 940s on this tray right here. Matter of fact, they're all 940 variants of some nature. But, yeah, I, I love the 940. But, yeah, like Mike said, you could do the Stormtrooper, the white and black, and make it your own. <laughs> Cauldron. Yeah. I, I may have had some 940s laying around, but... <laughs> it's like cake. Do you like cake? I love cake. Do you like 940s? Love 940s. <laughs> Yeah, Slicey knows I have it. He knows where I got it. So, it's pretty it's pretty cool. But, yeah, and uh, I think there was a link up there as well. Nice, fast. Congratulations on your 1K. He's doing a giveaway as well. Um, yeah, Peter suggested the 943, which is the, uh, which is the aluminum with the clip point. Hold on. Let me show a comparison here. I think I have one of those in here, just on purpose. So your standard 940, a lot of my 940s have different things on them. So, you know, if you see serrated edges, you see blue thumb studs, uh, blue barrel spacers, these are all, you know, things I've added after the fact. Uh, but this is the one that Peter likes. Just kidding. But that's your standard blade there. Let me get the one that Peter likes. He likes the 943 variant. I swore was in here. Hold on. Now I'm frustrated because I'm like, man, I grabbed that one. Oh, it's in a box. Silly me. It's in a box. Well, now I don't have one to show, but it's a clip point instead of the reverse Tonto, but it has the aluminum scales just like this one. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, the 940s are an addiction for sure. That's definitely for sure. I don't know how I lost that 943. I thought it was with all the other ones, but. What about an integral? Like the anthem? I would say get a get an integral, man. I love I love my anthem. I know these are um discontinued. And you know, if you watch Slicey's video about his top five bench maids, he was kind of sad because the secondary market is going crazy on these, but I would say don't, here's my recommendation. If you want an Anthem, don't spend the money on a crazy one like this. Um, you know, don't spend that. Cause I think these were around 400, 500, um, retail wise, but don't, don't get crazy on them because you may see some more Anthems. You may not. It just depends on what they do with it. I mean, the Anthem was a good knife. So I can't, in my mind, I can't say like, they're going to totally discontinue it. But I saw some custom ones done on a couple different uh, knife dealers. So there's there's a there's a, a reasonable market that's out there. So don't pay the, you know, six seven hundred dollars for one. But send one of one of your pickers to the warehouse. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could. I'd be like, uh, hold on. I'll be right back. Do they have a blacked out 940? They do not yet. No. You can piece together and kind of build your own um, using a black blade and then using some black scales. Um, you know, you could do the aluminum version. You could do, you just kind of have to build them out. They did make a, they did make a black 940 that I think you can still order with aluminum scales and put a black blade on it. But I don't think you can change the backspacer to black. So yeah, exactly, exactly. And yes, Mike brings up a very good point. These anthems, I mean, buy from a trusted dealer because there are a lot of fakes out there. And I wouldn't want to see somebody pay several hundred dollars for a fake. That's just terrible. So keys to the Benchmade warehouse. <laughs> Wanders around picking up cool. That would that would be sweet. I mean, I've had I've had plenty of tours. I've, uh, you know, I've, I've built knives there. I've done things like that. That's pretty awesome and amazing. And, uh, the people there are, are very cool. So it would be kind of cool to just have the keys and be like, Hey, let's go check out and see what's in the, you know, the, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the pro, the program. Let's see what, what, what they're testing out, you know? 
Okay, so yeah, the 950 Rift. That has a, you know, that's a that's a therapeutic edge kind of knife. You know, um, camo handle, black blade on sale. Yeah, those are ones that, you know, you can definitely go. Oh, thanks, Xavier. Right on. Right on. Yeah, Benchmade, you know, and they're operating, you know, with everybody else. They're kind of doing curbside pickup right now. That's still kind of their thing right now. They do make some uh, appointments for people that need to come in and take care of some business, but it's very limited on how it goes. So, Michael Morgan, awesome, buddy. Thanks again. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, Peter loves the Riff, Therapeutic Edge. He loves the Riff. It's a fantastic knife. It's very grippy. Uh, the G10 is very grippy, so that's one thing to consider. But it's a it's a great, fantastic, larger knife uh, built on kind of an Osborne design, so that's good. Uh, Max, right now, there's nothing crazy cool about going there. I mean, you can, you can call and make an appointment and go in there and, and get hands-on with all the brand new knives that came out. So that's one cool thing I really recommend. They also have a specialized case there, kind of a, a knife case that has like a glass enclosure one that kind of has like a whole bunch of ones that have been built off the custom knife builder. So you can actually walk out with a knife. You know, you could be like, oh, this one has, you know, blue scales or purple scales and it has a coated blade and it has different hardware. They've kind of built like, you know, a few dozen of them that are in the case. So you can, if you find something you like, you can technically walk out with it instead of building one and waiting, you know, several weeks. Oh, Brian Ruppel. Thank you so much. A little shout out to Brian. Let's give some love to Brian. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. You can build your own online. That's all. You can't do it in person. I know that's something that they had talked about um, a year or two ago prior to everything happening here that kind of closed stuff down, but they talked about doing a, a little station where you could come in and make an appointment. Oh, Big Red, there he is. Let's give a little shout out to Big Red coming in from Maui, doing a little super chat donation. Thank you for the support, my friend. We, we kicked off and talked about SKL tomorrow, 2 p.m. Pacific. I, I told him, hey, if you watched last week and you you heard about all the good times, definitely check it out tomorrow because there'll be some cool stuff happening that they they don't want to miss. So that's all I've said because I told him that we had a good chat the other night, but I didn't I didn't share any of the surprises. So, but yeah, if they had a build a knife workshop, I think it would be fantastic. It would be something really cool that people visiting from out of town could do as well. You know, I know a lot of people would love to like. You know, if they pass through Portland or something and they want to schedule an opportunity, you know, you call a month ahead and be like, hey, you know, I want to pick a day and time when I'm there to build a knife in house. I think that'd be sweet because the parts are there, you know. So I, I hope one day they get to build that little uh, build a knife shop and do something like that. I hope that comes to fruition. So I know it's something they talked about. They, they won't share that. I mean, these are all conversations that I've had with them when I'm there. But, you know, it's just something that it's like, hey. That'd be super fun. So what's up, Louie Louie? And what's up, David Lindsay? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. Yeah, there's some crazy stuff. There'll be some fun things tomorrow on SKL on Big Red's channel. 2 p.m. Pacific. It's an early one, first of the month. Special live from Maui. That's so cool. I just I just want to see some sand, buddy. <laughs> oh, B for Baron. Thanks, buddy. Let's show a little love to B for Baron. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you very much. The Super Chat donations are super helpful. Help support the channel. In addition to all the members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for your support. That's great. Yeah, 4 p.m. Central, there you go. 5 p.m. Eastern. However you want to look at it tomorrow, make sure to be there. We'll have some fun times. I'll be there. It'll be good. Yeah, the food's amazing there. I, that's some of the stuff we were talking about with Big Red. And I'm like, oh, yeah, buddy. That's good stuff. There you go right there. Women Carry Knives posting up the link. The link master. Thank you so much, Christine. Check out Big... Yeah, and Big Red. We got we got Christine over 2,000 during the live stream tonight. So that's so awesome. Oh, you're at Bubba Gums. Nice. Tell the missus hello. My number one fan of the channel. Um, tell her hello. 
We miss you guys. We'll see you guys soon. And Big Red, I have this one right here so you can check it out as soon as you come back. So anyways, <laughs> that's so cool, man. Very nice. Oh, Deadpool says <laughs> my wife couldn't get me out of the build a Benchmade store. Yeah, and that's a, that's a thing, you know. I mean, they as you guys have heard from me, I, I took I took a day off and I went around to all the knife manufacturers in the Portland area. And there was only one that you could really go in and walk into the counter and get hands on with knives like two years ago. Um, the only one that's a little different. Oh, 3902, John. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a good weekend yourself. What's up, Joshua? Welcome, welcome. Take care, Big Red. Enjoy your afternoon. Enjoy the the wonderful, wonderful food and drink in Maui. Enjoy the beautiful sunset tonight. Hey, hey, Knife Nut. Thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. That's fantastic. Let's show a little love to Knife Nut, the Knife Nut. Thank you so much. Christine verifying the times for everybody for tomorrow. But yeah, that was one of the things. Like The only other place you could go to was like Kershaw ZT. They had stuff hanging on the wall behind glass. And you could ask somebody from the counter to like come over and help you. And you could look at one. Uh, but you had to place an order to get your knife. So the cool thing about Benchmade, and you could still do this, <coughs> excuse me, with your appointment. You could... You can go in there for your appointment. You can look, get hands on with all these knives. You can get hands on with the mini Adamases. They even have the full size there that you can test out. They have all the ones they've announced so far in the store so you can get hands on with. You can't walk out with those until they're released, but if they've been released, you can purchase one and walk out with it. Um, that to me is the coolest interaction experience as a customer. As you guys know, get it in your hand, test it out, feel it, and go from there. So. Iron stomach. <laughs> so yeah, so that's cool. Anybody have any other questions, man? Let me know. Hit me up. Let's chat. Don't know if you guys want to see the... the. Uh, well, I can't show you that. Never mind. We'll wait till Sunday. <laughs> you can run out with one? Yeah, no. They have, they have some good security there. Shout out to Benchmade Security, man. So they have, they have some good security going on there. Oh, Chris Reed does the same thing. That's so cool. That is super cool. Yeah, I really like that places do that. So that's cool that Chris Reed does that as well. When do we leave for Hawaii? Let's plan it. I'm down. Can I have all the knives on the table? <laughs> hey, you know what? There's a little something coming in the mail for you guys to check out. I don't know if I was supposed to, to burn the secret on that therapeutic edge, but anyways, time to build your burrito. Nice. Oh yeah. So this is the, the mini Adamus. This is the mini Adamus in my hand, large glove size hand. You can see kind of where everything locks up. Hopefully it's on there camera wise. You know, I mean, and, and this is without any sort of like cramping. So it's, to me, it's a perfect size knife. Custom burrito shop. Yeah, that'll be the next one. Let's do it. Custom burrito shop. I'm down with that. Oh, thanks, Rennie. Yeah, I hope, I hope to go back to Hawaii soon. That'll be fun. That'll be good. Uh, Lucas Bacon says, what do you think a gold class mini Adamus would look like? Well, I would think they would go something very beautiful on the blade, like a, a custom Dama steel pattern, but they would have to do something like super solid with like the liners. So they've been doing some jeweling on the liners and you know, they were using 14, I think 14 karat gold to coat some of the last ones they did on one of their gold class models. And handle wise, I could see them doing like a carbon fiber. And here's and here's my thought process behind that. 
Shane Seibert. You guys know Shane Seibert. He designed these knives. So these are his knives that he designed. They do, he basically does custom versions of all of his knives, custom hand built. You can only get them at like the custom knife shows. Um, you know, many, many years ago, five, six years ago, he was taking orders and then got so backed up. He was like two, three years behind in orders. So he stopped taking orders. Um, he got all that stuff caught up and I was telling him the other day, I'm like, when I was chatting with him, I was like, Hey Shane, when are we going to see a mini Adamus custom now? That would be sweet. You know, um, I, because he does the Adamus full size custom already. And those are fantastically amazing. He makes them just gorgeous carbon fiber. He does accents throughout, um, you know, and they're, they're a couple thousand dollars sometimes. So hand built. Yeah. Yeah. You can make a super spear with it. You can do anything you want with it. And these things will take the abuse. You guys, they have that life sharp warranty. So as long as you're not, you know, doing something crazy with it, they're going to warranty it. They're going to fix it send it back to you ready to go again. So, uh, yes, some 2020 on the beach in Hawaii. Yeah. I'm down with that. I am down with that. Oh, you're getting a blister on your thumb. Is that from the, is that from the kind of cylinder thumb stud? Now I will do be doing a, a breakdown yeah, Jimmy Slash Live is coming up here soon. Is that right now? If so, then we can wrap this one up. But I will go ahead and let you know that there's going to be a breakdown. I'm going to tear this one apart. I'm going to show you that you can take these thumb studs off. And you can actually install standard Benchmade thumb studs. Or you can get some custom ones from Adrian in Australia and put them on here as well. So there was a couple people, which I know even Stassa mentioned the, the kind of the cylinder thumb studs, you know, were bothering him. So he was going to look at replacing them. Um, he was talking about putting some crazy anodized ones on there. So when and where for blade show 2021. So they announced, uh, Atlanta blade show. I think it's in June. So check that one out, go to blade shows website or check out their Instagram. And then also, uh, Blade Show West is in October, the first weekend, Friday, Saturday, and that's in Long Beach, California. So two good shows, um, kind of both West Coast, East Coast kind of things. So yeah, definitely get some plans in for that. And yeah, it'll be great. First weekend in June. There you go. I'm sure Dylan's going to be there. Dylan's going to hit it up. Check it out. There you go. There's the link right there. Christine, thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, definitely. Blade Show West is going to be pretty awesome. Mostly because we will be there. That is very true, a Therapeutic Edge. It'll be great to see you guys again. Yeah, we need to see Dylan in Long Beach. We need to get, we need to get swipe right for Dylan on the beach, buddy. Right on, he's going to be there. You know, the tickets usually don't run too much. Um, you know... I think, you know, like Blade Show West is only going to be two days this, this year instead of three. Um, so you can buy a weekend pass. Um, so it's going to be under $100 probably for both days. And that's that's your entry in each day. So it covers that cost. Uh, your biggest cost is going to be all the sweet, sweet knives that are inside. Um, oh, yeah, there's a there's an international custom show in Dallas at the end of March. Paul brought it up. That's a really good one. So... I, I, I can't take myself and go into that one because there's so many sweet customs that are going to be there. I think Shane's going to have some customs there. And if you get a chance to check out Shane's customs, Cybert, the, Cent, uh, the Centron is the one I'm looking at. That's one that I'm looking at. If you go, oh, come on, Dylan. Yeah, Mr. McKenzie, you're in for Long Beach? Okay, I'll be there. I already got reservations. I already made reservations down in Long Beach, so we're good. So, I think Big Red's going to be there as well. I was talking to him about the other night, kind of confirmed that. So, uh, CK, the, the local one they're doing on the West Coast is going to be in Long Beach, California. So, 
Oh, nice. Women Carry Nice says we got our hotel booked as well. There you go. Right on. So if you guys want to meet up, I think we'll have to plan that. You know, do a meet up as well when we're down there. Maybe the night before. Maybe one of the nights of. I don't know if they're going to do kind of what they did in uh, Portland last year where they did like a... It was kind of cool. They did a... Uh, anybody that attended could sign up for um, like an after show party on Saturday night. And they used a warehouse and did a pretty sweet deal. That was pretty cool. Yeah, did a live from there. That'd be that'd be a blast. We did that last time with Big Red. Did an SKL from there. That was fun. I had fun with that. But the more fun I had that evening was literally just meeting all these great people, talking to people. Yeah, the pit. The pit. And that's kind of what, you know, Blade Show Atlanta is known for is the pit. And... You know, every different place that has it, especially on the West Coast. SKL from the pit was amazing, yeah. You know, and you know, you got to interact with people that you that you appreciate in this community. You know, meet so many different people. And you get to see so many different cool knives. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of the people um, go West Coast. And then there's a lot of different people that go East Coast as well. So I know like... You know, it's going to be a lot easier for like everyday city carrier to go to Atlanta than than me. Or I know like Slicey Dicey's planning on going to Atlanta, possibly. So there's things like that. You know, you never know if Batman will show up. You know, Nick Shabazz, you never know if he'll drop in. Um, you know, those kind of things. He dropped in at the pit party at Blade Show West last year. Um, also, you know, was out and about around during blade show west so it's kind of cool to chat with him on the side because nobody knows what he looks like so <laughs> you know it was nice to just chat with him and hang out for a little bit so hey what's up mark yeah thanks for jumping in yeah these mini adamases are just awesome so yeah i i thought they were gonna cancel atlanta too but so far it's it's planned it's going they canceled last year's but yeah, it's pretty huge and it's fun. I would love to go. I'm trying to see if I can go, but I don't know if, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't know how things are going to be in June. You know, it's coming up pretty quick. It's only three months out. So we'll see. We'll see how everybody goes. We'll see how they open it up. And we'll see if, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Big enough for my meat hooks. Yeah, it's, it's big enough for my hand. Um, and it's, it's that EDC tank. You know, I carried it at work this week, the black one, and it was solid. You know, I used it for some good stuff, and it's it's good to go. So, yeah, KJ, that's the hard part. You don't know about your local authorities, you know. Oh, nice, Richard. You're only two hours away. So that's, and it's perfect for people that are that close. Yeah, exactly, Last Ranger. Yeah, it's an easy drive. Yeah, and that's the cool part. Like, when it was in Portland... You know, the last two years, man, it was so much fun to do. Um, it was amazing. The last two years they had it here, it was great because it was like so close for me. And then other people that were like, you know, one state away or something, it was only a few hours drive. It was fantastic. So yeah, there you go. Blade Show Atlanta is June 4th, 5th, and 6th. So three days, 13 hour drive to Atlanta for you. Okay, there you go. And that's not too bad. You know, I'll probably, Long Beach is going to be, from Portland, it's, you know, a good 18-hour drive or more, so I'll probably fly down. I'd, I'd love to just be able to get on a plane and be there in, like, you know, an hour and 45 minutes. I Deadpool, I think so. I think so. You know, it's one of those, like, you know, blend in with the crowd, has his own, you know, group of people with him. Oh, somebody's birthday is June 10th. <laughs> I expect some early birthday gifts. There you go. Oh, it's not bad, KJ. Only five hours from ATL. There you go. It was 12 hours for you guys to do Blade Show West last year. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's the hard part. Like, you know, driving from Portland to like Southern California, it's just a long drive, you know, and it's it's doable. You know, we've had plenty of friends that have done like the Disney trip, but I, you know, to me, that's like two days of driving and it's like, I, or a day and a half. And I'd rather just like literally be there in two hours, you know, 
But that's just me, I guess. <laughs> From Minnesota. Oh, man. Minnesota's rough. Rennie's on June 29th. There you go. June 19th. There you go. Women Carry Knives says her birthday is October 16th, so everyone can get me gifts at Blade Show West. There you go. Bells is June 18th. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Deadpool, most of them have gone down a little bit. Um, it just kind of depends, you know, on the season. I know that with colleges being back in town, uh, Mark's on May 18th. There you go. With colleges being back in, in every, you know, or having all the kids come back into town, a lot of the stuff during spring breaks picked up this year for plane tickets. I've seen that kind of happen. Uh, but then it goes back to, you know, pretty reasonable flights after that. So just don't, and don't tell the airlines about Blade Show in June so they don't raise the rates. You get blasted by paparazzi. Well, that's the cool part, Mark. Like, there's only a good handful of people that that know me. You know, like Big Red, we can pick him out. We kind of know him. You know, women carry knives. They'll have paparazzi and stuff. But I try to, like, get in and out pretty quick. Just so I don't get recognized. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm going to have some stuff. Uh, somebody mentioned they're going to have, a like, a costume for me to wear. So, Mrs. OCD is March 16th. Oh, big 4 -0. Oh, man. Sounds like we need to get together and, and send some glitter for a birthday party for Mrs. OCD. <laughs> Stowaway. <laughs> Tom, that's funny. Oh, man. <laughs> You're going to point me out to everyone? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slap like a Zach Stuff patch and a DSKFS patch, which those should be shipping. I, I chatted with them, and um, they should be shipping beginning of next week. So, And they're local, so it should only be a day or two. Shipping, so I should have them for uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, hopefully. So, oh, your wife owns a glitter company. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there you go. But yeah, I'll, I'll slap those patches on somebody else's backpack, so somebody will come up and be like, "Hey, are you Zach?" I'm like, "Oh no, sorry, I'm Bill." <laughs> Justin hates glitter. Oh, okay. We'll send one to each of them. <laughs> nice. You're going to be 13 on the 27th. Congratulations. That's a great birthday. Finally hitting the teens. There you go. Nice. <laughs> I have the voice of a ski instructor. Okay, folks. We're all going to have a good time today. Make sure your boots are strapped in and your bindings are clicked into your skis. And you got your ski poles wrapped around your wrists. <laughs> Make sure your gloves are on tight and your goggles are ready to go. <laughs> oh. M237 says his birthday's on June 12th. Nice. Glitter ends marriages. <laughs> Man, I got a card the other day for somebody at work and was like signing it and stuff. And it's like, uh, it was like just it had a little tiny bit of glitter on it. I had glitter all over me. I had even had a piece of glitter uh, like on my face. And I'm like, how did that happen? Um, let's see here. Shane Gable says, hey, what's up, guys? Got my Presidio 2 today. Nice, Shane. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Uh, Mr. McKenzie says, when is Blade Show West? It is October 7th and 8th. I think it's the first Friday, Saturday in October down in Long Beach. Glitter and sand, the everlasting gift. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Don't pizza when you're supposed to French fry. <laughs> oh, please don't lick the poles. Yeah, we don't want your tongue stuck to the poles. No thanks. Yeah, everybody go as your favorite Marvel or DC character. They'd be like, these are, these are knife-toting Comic-Cons. <laughs> That's what we'll call them. I need a lookalike imposter. Yeah. Somebody with a different, like a voice changer. The Benchmade Ohm. Yeah, the Ohm's pretty cool. To me, it's a, it's like a different version of, between the like, Autocrat, the, uh, 
Dang it. Uh, the Infidel, the Phaeton. It's kind of a different version of the Phaeton for me. What's up, NLKG? Welcome, welcome. Your daughter has plenty. Nice, Rodney. I got I to gotta throw in an AA in the mix to sound Midwestern. <laughs> Hulk smash him. Go in a Batman mask and get all the attention. There you go. Nick would probably love it if we if we have like two dozen, three dozen people that show up in Batman masks. <laughs> oh, you vacuum glitter out of your rig for years? Yeah, that's so crazy. Oh, you got the Kaiser in today. Nice. Oh, the smaller things. Okay. Yeah, the ohm the ohm should be good for people with smaller hands. I'll have I'll have a review here on the channel so you'll be able to see that and check it out. Uh we'll compare it to the Infidel and the Autocrat and a couple others. Um so you can kind of see size wise if it works for you or not. That's what I that's what I like to do so that way you guys get a, a chance. That's that's why I I found all the different channels like Nick Shabazz and those kind of things when I was looking at knives and I'm like, how do I take this apart? How do you know? How do I know if I'm gonna like this one? You know, what's it? What's it compared to? So, I I thought about that. That's a really good idea, Ian. And so when I do my take apart video, I'll probably swap these blades so you can kind of see what they look like. But a black blade on this would look awesome. I think that would be fantastic. College told me I had to wear a mask to teach last year when I wore in a Star Trek. <laughs> they realize their mistake <laughs> oh wow that's too funny yeah it's funny when they just put that out there and they're like you need to wear a mask like okay i'll wear <laughs> copy that i'll wear a mask <laughs> shane says it's so stabby yeah it's a nice knife that's good that's good yeah, Orange Chat, you just got to practice, you know. That's the thing. Like, even if you have, like, a bug out, let's say. Let's say you have a standard bug out. Get the proper tools, you know. Get a little uh, a Benchmade Torx tool kit, you know, something like that for under $20. And just work on taking them apart and be patient, you know. These are all put in with thread locker, you know, the lock Loctite stuff. So they, they take a little bit so you don't strip them out. But overall, the the pressure breaks that seal and they come out pretty easily. You know, the ones on the bug outs that I have the most hard time with that are stuck in there with a lot of Loctite are these center ones for the frame and the thumb studs. They're put on there with quite a bit just because they don't want them backing out at all. So practice with it. Um, you know, if you want to get a little tool like this, you know, it's got the it's got the the pivot alignment tool, different sizes on each side, and then that way you can practice putting it together, taking it apart. You don't have to worry about the parts going everywhere, um, and it's kind of a cool little little helper. But yeah, the pivot tool, the pivot alignment tool is awesome. Uh, Rust Bucket Goods on Etsy has these. You know, if you need the link, let me know. I'll send it to you. But he has some cool options, and they're you know under twenty bucks as well. And it really, really helps with the access lock ones, especially if you're swapping scales or something like that. I know a lot of people use different things like Q-tips and, you know, some larger Torx bits to put in there. I used to do the larger Torx bit and it works good. But man, that pivot alignment tool is just next level. Exactly, Mark. Yeah, it's the best part of the addiction is like, how does this work? You know, how does it, what's the inside of this push button? Orion I Solaris look like, you know, let's tear it down. So you'll see those videos coming up as well. That's good stuff. Oh, look at that. Women carry knives, rust bucket goods on Etsy. Thank you so much, Christine. Dye the green G10 purple and put the gray blade on it. Yeah. Yeah, that might be that might be one of the things, man. You know, you can start customizing those things because this G10 will take some good color, especially those those darker pigments in, in the blues and purples. 
Yeah, yeah, Rodney's got one too. He likes it, yeah. Okay, Peter says, a uh, therapeutic edge says, taking taking the Solaris apart was interesting. All right, Randy, thanks for being here, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, David Lindsay says the pivot alignment tool helps a lot. Same with Northwoods Knife Guy. Yeah, those, those tools are great. Born of Blades, Cody, practice, practice, practice. Yep. Definitely. So what time is Jimmy's live? Is it right, is it going on right now? Oh, your first button lock disassembly? Okay, nice. Does Diane Benchmade scales void the warranty? Not officially. Um, I've I, I have a couple bug outs. I've taken one in, dropped it off for life sharp warranty repair. Um 9 30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so it's coming up in like like less than 45 minutes okay thanks peter i, I didn't want to jump in on that so thank you christine yeah that's good ready <laughs> okay ready we'll, we'll see you in just a minute christine hashtag christine attack yeah definitely andrew 40 minutes okay cool great thanks tom yeah um bunzo reviews says we need a mini adamas versus full-size adamas beat down to see which one is tougher you might be seeing one of, the, one of those on this channel. You might be seeing one of those on this channel. Um, I can't post it until 20 days from now when the, the full size goes live. Let's just say that. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I kind of snuck in the other one on my mini Adamas review as a comparison real quick at the end. But I don't want to post a full review just because they've asked me to, you know, comply with the release dates on those that was part of the deal and you know getting the knives early so that's pretty cool yeah definitely slick big reds going live tomorrow skl uh 2 p.m pacific from hawaii live from hawaii so definitely check that one out that's pretty cool going on shane says if i was only gonna own one i'd pick the presidio over the freak i i like i mean here's the full-size presidio and cf elite this is the full size version. I mean, it's a solid knife. Full liners. It's it's made to work. You know? Uh, I mean, personally, I would pick the Super Freak because I like the colors of it. You can't go wrong with just the name itself. And the red thumb studs I added just kind of make that pop. But you can add red thumb studs on the Presidio. You can do all that. Oh, Rodney says his Solaris was fun today. He had one screw that didn't want to come loose. That's a, hey, that's part of the business. You know, you start looking at those knives and start taking them apart and it's like, okay, which one's, which one's going to be the, the bugger or are they all going to come out? You know, <laughs> and I've, you know, I've, I've been known to use like, you know, hair dryer, some other things to kind of heat up the, the Loctite a little bit. So it kind of loosens up. Oh, you meant the basic freak. Oh, 100% Shane. Yeah, the Presidio, this Presidio right here over the standard freak with the plastic and uh, rubber handles, 100% take the Presidio over that CF Elite. That's fantastic. Knife Sergeant says, want to trade for that Anthem. Hey, you never know. You never know. Hit me up, you know. Never know what trades are out there. So, oh, soldering iron also works good, Mark says. You can put, you can touch a soldering iron, be very careful, but you can touch it to those screws and it heats up all the, all the good Loctite that's in there holding it down <laughs> and, and it works like a dream. Yep, exactly. Peter does the same thing. Northwoods knives, same thing. Yeah. Yep. Therapeutic, put up your link. Therapeutic edge. We got to get him some subscribers too. Yeah, yeah. Peter at Therapeutic Edge loves the full size Presidio too. Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, that's why I got the full size and the mini in those because the, those CF Elite Presidios are great. You need some suggestions for some pop on your Presidio studs and standoffs. Well, um, it's got a few of them there. So you could always do some customizing yourself with like light paint, 
just don't don't paint the the pieces that go inside the liners because that'll mess with the tolerances a little bit. Um, you could definitely reach out to Adrian as well um, at his website. You can email him and ask him if he's got any that'll meet that standard. You know, he may already have some built or is working on some. Um, you could definitely paint your own and kind of go with colors there. You can definitely get a different screw set. And then thumb studs, he's got thumb studs galore color-wise that you can use. Um, you know, if you like red, blue, purple, you know, you could go that route just to get that color pop on the back or on the thumb studs. So, I mean, I was thinking about putting some black thumb studs on there. Hey, hey, Grateful Panic Knives, what's happening? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. OCD for EDC says soldering iron is the only way to go for a teardown. That's probably the most recommended, yeah. And Women Carry Knives put up a link to a therapeutic edge. If you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. Give it a follow as well. Some great people, some great reviews. And if you like, and I'll just I'll I'll, I'll be this honest with you. If you like his if you like his knives, you're gonna you're gonna know exactly what's up because he's all about. I don't want to give away because he was he was very kind enough to loan me some knives to review, and they're very a therapeutic edge esque. You know he likes a certain type of knife. Definitely size is one. You know you're gonna look at something like the full size Presidio, and this is kind of his range, his realm, and some very cool knives, some very cool flippers, and honestly, I'll have to tell you. I fell in love with a Hogue and I fell in love with an off grid knife that I had for review from him. So I'll just put that out there right now. You'll see those reviews trickled in here shortly, but that's one of those things where it's like fantastic. There you go. Yeah. Check out grateful panic knife reviews as well. Definitely, definitely check out grateful panic. I loved your intro you had for your giveaway video too last week. That was great. Tom says, everybody who is somebody subscribes to Peter and Christine. Most definitely. There you go. CK signed up for Therapeutic Edge. That's awesome. Is Microtech any good? They have some solid knives. I, I'm really looking at the LUDT right now from Microtech. Um, like I said, I'd love to get a, a UTX 70 in blue. So I, I think I heard that, um, there was a knife dealer that has some right now. So I'm gonna be checking that out after this just to see what it is. Uh, what did I just miss on there? Um, oh, you missed a typhoon. Ooh, that's a bummer. Yeah, exactly, Peter. Definitely. Oh, wow. You just won Lou's Lander Large Sabenza. Oh, the Lunar Lander. Hey, hey, congratulations, eggs and ham. That's fantastic, man. I saw that one earlier. That one looks beautiful. That's a great knife, man. Great win on that one. Yeah, the LUDT is an amazing knife, and um, I haven't been able to check one out yet, but from the looks of it and everybody that has one, it's pretty cool, so... Oh, you sold your Typhoon today? <laughs> Dang it. Just missed it. Okay, Mallory's got one that's all black. Yeah, I've seen yours, buddy. Yours looks pretty awesome. And that's and that's what I'm saying, like, as a knife, you know what I mean? You can get so many different knives from different makers, you know? Like an OTF might not be your thing from uh, Microtech, but, you know, they got a, they got an auto folder. You know, those kind of things. So Zach, titanium bug out, titanium bug out, eh? Uh, titanium bug out. I don't know. I've seen some, I'm seeing some aftermarket stuff for them, for sure. SMKW has some stuff on their website. They've customized and they got out. It's pretty cool. They also have their exclusive coming out on Monday, which looks pretty cool. Nav Surgeon says I still have the full custom Typhoon, so it's all good. Oh, okay, okay. That's cool. Yeah, Lou, man, Long Island Knife Guy. Shout out to Lou, buddy. He had a really awesome uh, live Instagram last night. 
if you guys know Pocket Tank, he jumped in there as well with him on the live. And it was just kind of shooting the breeze. And it was pretty fun. Oh, really? It's got a really good factory edge on the LUDT? Okay. Well, that's good to know. I mean, it looks super slicey. That blade just is crazy. So, yeah, that's the crazy part. Like, I, I won. Here, let me show you. You guys have probably seen this, but I won this off of uh, from Lou as well. But it's a, uh, it's a large Sabenza 31 with black Micarta inlay. We'll just give a shout out right now to Long Island Knife Guy. Oh, Born on Blades, you're taking off, buddy? All right, sounds good. We'll see you probably tomorrow, huh? Over on Big Reds. Maybe we'll see you later. Small Sabenza, yeah. I, you know, and that's the thing. Like, I was looking at Blade Show West. I was thinking about getting a... What's up, Michael? How are you? So look at that. That's the black Micarta inlay, large Sabenza 31, you know, got hooked up with Lou on that one. It's beautiful. So yeah, check out Long Island Knife Guy on uh, Instagram. If you want to get in on some of those deals, you can see what, what everybody's talking about. Faux show, beautiful. You know, it's just one of those knives that, you know, I, I like I said I was looking to get in the small one at Blade Show West. And then all of a sudden I was like, I got hands on with it, which is the best like best experience in the world to get hands on with knives before you buy them. And I was like, you know what? The small is actually too small for me. So for me, it made up my decision to be like, oh, I need a large one. Oh, PVK does? Oh, okay. Thanks, Knife Sergeant. I'll have to check out that. I love PVK Vegas. Gotta love PVK Vegas, man. This is a really cool little, uh, just a shout out to them. You want to carry a couple knives around? Beautiful, beautiful padded little knife case that they sell. They make a larger one too, but I bought that one when I was down for uh, SHOT Show about a year, well, a little over a year ago, January 2020. Small Sabenza is probably going to run, what, like 475 you guys? Just depends. Oh, 375 okay. 375 or it depends on what you get for handles. But Cody said about 375 for the, the run-of-the-mill ones. Not run-of-the-mill, but you know what I mean. The standard version. You can get like super crazy scales and get like six, seven, eight hundred bucks, but... Oh, you have oh you have a converted Spiderco Valaton came from PVK. They do some crazy mod work. Yeah, there you go. There's a link to it right there. Thanks, Christine. I have not reviewed the LUDT, Peter. No, uh, -uh. no. I'm gonna. I might borrow Big Reds. We might swap back because I got a, I got one of his knives and uh, he's got one of mine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let him check this one out. This uh, mini Hogue Ritter and. I might check out his LUDT on that one as well. Oh, there you go. Mark's trade one. Ooh, a titanium hinderer slicer. Ooh. There you go. That's a that's a good offer on the table right there. I have a SMAS club knife. How do I fix the lock? It won't lock. Well, that's a good one for the channel right there. Ask the community for sure. Uh, the price on that mini Ritter uh, from Knifeworks is one forty nine ninety five or one forty nine fifty, uh, free shipping. So pretty pretty awesome deal. You can't beat that. And I don't know if you've ordered from them before, but their shipping's like fast. Like I've ordered something and I ordered it like middle of the day here on the West Coast, and it shipped. It was already accepted and in the hands of USPS by end of the day on the west coast so you're from long island you can confirm his his accent's legit yeah that's so cool that's so cool yeah you're welcome mark totally oh the um umnazon umnazon 
greatest knives ever had. That's cool. Yeah, I've, I've held one, but I've never owned one, so... Okay, yeah, you'll send me yours if that doesn't work out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's so why I figured I'd check his out because uh, I think we're going to meet up and do a handoff on some knives and stuff, so. Yeah, it's a little spendier, definitely, for sure. Um, yeah, their exclusives are, are pretty well-priced, you know. You can't, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, Women Carry Knives rocks. That's definitely what. Well, let's show some love for Women Carry Knives. For all her help tonight with the links. Congratulations again on getting 2K. Again, if you haven't followed her channel, go check it out. That's fantastic. Yeah, Therapeutic Edge is like, I gotta make sure to get some, put some, put some love up there. <laughs> oh man. Hashtag Bellport. Hip hip hooray for Christine, women carry knives. That's right, Dylan. Big Red is proud tonight. Papa Red, Papa Red. Hey, you know it's a community, you guys. She has super moderator status for sure, definitely. We appreciate that. Oh, Big Red just sent me a photo. Oh, man. Oh, come on, buddy. He, it's so funny because we talked about the other night and stuff and even before he left and whatnot, we were talking about a couple different places that, you know, they enjoy and that, uh, that I enjoy going to and stuff. And it's like, Oh, it's Hicksville Mark. <laughs> okay. And it's just so funny. Cause it's like some of the, some of the places are closed down because of everything that's happening. And then a few places just opened up, you know, um, you know, there's a place there, um, Fleetwoods that has a sunset, um, ceremony with some, some local, um, native people that do a ceremony for the sunset, as well as they put it their own, um, you know, Mick Fleetwood style on it. And they have a, uh, Scottish bagpiper dude, one of the best places for a, a beautiful traditional ceremony. And then they have some live music afterwards and the food and drinks are fantastic. So, is he wearing a Magnum P.I. shirt? <laughs> I can't spill the beans. I can't spill the beans on what Big Red's wearing. But yeah, oh yeah, there you go. Look at that. Christine's killing it with the links. I love that. Fleetwood's on Front Street. Yeah, click that link. Check out some of the cool stuff they do. But they just opened up, because uh, when we were talking about it, I was looking at it. They just opened up for seating and stuff um, and doing that sunset um, ceremony like just Monday. And they're already booked out for a couple weeks. So that's one of those things that, you know, if you're going to go, you know, a month ahead of time, book it and, uh, and enjoy yourself there. There's some great things to do when you're over there on the island. But I'm happy for them. They're enjoying it. And sounds like their plane only had like 35% of the seats uh, full. So <laughs> Christine's trying to. Christine's trying to get people to book a flight right now and go. So, all right, Ian, that's awesome, buddy. WandaVision. Oh, yeah, got to take care of the, the wife and kids, definitely. Got to watch that. And also, don't forget, you guys, click the link, book your trip to Maui. Um, there's the link right there, Hawaiian Airlines. <laughs> this is not a paid advertisement. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Eggs and Ham, that's an awesome win, totally. Totally awesome win, but I do have to say, you guys, again, this right here is going to be close to knife of the year. We'll see what else comes out, but I mean, overall, for me, this beats the full size. This slim down version of the full size is fantastic, but this mini is incredible, you guys. So I really hope they continue to build on this. I would love to see a custom come out i'd love to see a gold class come out in these i don't even know if like you know who's a who's a good knife dealer that would be like doing an exclusive like heavy duty knife you know what i mean um i don't know but i would love to see that as well all right northwoods knife guy thanks so much yeah definitely yeah we can start wrapping things up you know um 
we can definitely start wrapping things up unless you guys got some more questions. White Mountain Knives would be a good one to do a, an exclusive on that. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. That's that's a it's a fantastic knife, you guys. So anyways, I know I'm kind of gushing over it, but I told you guys already from the get-go that this is going to be one of the knives of the year, and for me it is. So you're going to see some videos coming up on my channel. You're going to see a, a 940 collection update that I'll probably post tomorrow in the morning for all of you guys. That uh, that video was selected by Zach's Daily Carry Crew, the members of this channel here. So you can thank them for that. They wanted to see that video before the Skaha or anything else. So definitely check that one out when it posts. If you haven't seen the review on the Mini Adamas, please check that one out as well. And you'll see a sneak peek at the end of the full size Adamas as well on there. Slim down version of it. But yeah, Ethan Ruins EDC, welcome, welcome. Uh, Rennie says, Zach Stuff, has the 940 green and purple aluminum release been pushed back to May now? 940 green and purple aluminum? Um, are you talking about the mini? The mini uh, green and purple aluminum? Is that what you're talking about? The 945? Because they already have this one pushed out. Oh, you're welcome, Penny. You're welcome. But they already have this one This one pushed out in the... Oh, yeah, the 945. Yeah, so, so far, the release dates are what is on the Benchmade website. So they try to keep the status is on there and i'm really excited you guys and i don't know about you guys but i'm really excited that they actually have the date release listed on their web page now so you can go and see like okay i want to get the ohm or i want to get the 945 green and purple aluminum you know all right rodney takes care buddy take care mallory dylan mallory awesome buddy don't forget to check out your swipe right for dylan merch link will be down in the description of this video as well but yeah, you can see when the launch is going to come up, including the Tengu Gold class. Some of them on there are like launching soon, but some, most all of them have a release date on there. Now, they don't tell you like May 1st or May 2nd or May 3rd. They literally say like 72 days, 12 hours, you know, 57 minutes. So there's like kind of a countdown timer on there. So you kind of got to reverse the the math a little bit to find out the exact release date, but I'm glad that they keep those updated. So kind of like the mini Adamas's, you know, you're like, when does the mini Adamas come out? When does the full size come out? The full size is on there. It's 20 days or less. It's on there. That's exciting. So to me, that's pretty cool because you don't have to worry about, you know, somebody that's going to post an exclusive or something else, but it's coming. Still coming soon for the Tengu Gold Class. Okay. Now, the only thing on those I would think was still coming is those are all hand done, hand finished. Um, all the details are done by hand. So it takes a while to meet their standard um, order number. So when I see that, it tells me that they're still building to get their, their minimum stock order in place. And once they get their stock order ready, then they're going to put a date on there. So... Oh, Mark Ridgewell spent some time in Bellport with my dad's shipmate. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, and I'm waiting. I already have my Tengu Gold Class secured. So I'm waiting for it to be released too so I can get mine. Now, now granted, I've already had one. Um, you know, I have one for review, those kind of things. But personal one, it's already been secured. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's great. Well, anyways, you guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, unless anybody has a last minute question, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks again to all the members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew are here. Huge shout out to Christine from Women Carry Knives for all the wonderful work tonight and helping out with the moderators, uh, moderator duties and all the links. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, again, check out all the wonderful channels that are in here. Therapeutic Edge, Grateful Panic Knives, um, Knives Fast, just hit 1K, got a giveaway going. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a disassembly of the Mini Adamas, and that should post probably Monday or Tuesday. So 
I wanted to get out the 940. Oh yeah, the OCD for EDC as well. A great channel and it has some cool mods coming up on their Sunday live stream. So definitely want to check that out and I'll be there for that one. It's going to be pouring rain all weekend, so I won't be doing yard work and all the crazy stuff as I did last Sunday. So thank you guys again. Thanks for all the people that donated on the Super Chat. That's awesome. It's very helpful for the channel so I can continue these giveaways. And with the shipping and the patches and the stickers and the swag and all that good stuff, I will be doing a live again on Sunday. So noon Pacific, don't forget to check that out. We'll be here. We'll do some more fun stuff. And I have another giveaway plan, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll check out some new knives that came in on, on Sunday as well. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, you guys all have an awesome, amazing night. Um, but make sure to do something kind for someone this weekend. So many of you guys have done that over the last couple of weeks, and it's been fantastic. Um, yeah, Rennie wants to win some sway. Rennie, 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 man, send me an email. Send me an email with your address. I know we just chatted today, but shoot me your email. If I, I thought I sent you some stuff, but if not, I'll send you another care pack for sure. For sure. Make sure to do something kind for someone. It's greatly important for this world to just have people doing something kind randomly. It's awesome. So anyways, you guys, have a great rest of your Friday night or your Saturday, wherever you're at watching this. Thank you guys for being here live. Congratulations again to Xavier for winning the giveaway. That's pretty awesome stuff. Most importantly, take care of yourself. And we'll see you later.